Hello all, welcome to my hobby vlog. So I thought I'd do a little bench update video um, and uh, and show you what I got for Christmas. Hope you all had a good one. I've had a brilliant one. Um, and I've got a good haul of presents for the hobby. So I'm going to show you that in a minute. So I've just been um, varnishing the uh, these figures that I've just recently done with the air gun and uh, so that's why the napoleonics are there uh, the 79th i'm gonna have to take a back seat for a little bit until i get the bolt action out of my system so i'll revisit these because these are looking really great to be honest uh, i've enjoyed doing these so i will finish this regiment off um but i'm just going to park it for a little while and then come back to them so uh but as you've seen from the last video, I've done the um, the uh, the MG nest, the machine gun nest. Um, that's all varnished up now, so let's uh, just dry in. Uh, and I've done some of the uh, the first um, Band of Brothers US Airborne. So uh, these guys are the first five. I've done the first sprue, if you like. Um, I'll bring them up and show you. So this one here, um, quite pleased with him. He's got the BAR, the Browning Automatic Rifle. Uh, I've done the patches on the knees and on the elbows, and that's the length of them. I may need to go a little wider, I think, but... Um, because someone uh, has pointed that out, that they were wider. I've done a Mohican, he's kind of got blonde hair, and you can see he's kind of shaved on his on his head a little bit. Uh, put the details of his face in, I'm really quite proud of his face. He can't, he doesn't pick it up on the camera, but I took absolutely ages doing his eyes and all his features. Um... But that's probably the best I've ever done, to be honest. So uh, I'm really chuffed with how he's come out. So that's the uh, that's the BAR guy, and then I've done an officer. I haven't done a wep. Uh, he hasn't got a rifle or anything. I may. I don't know whether I should do that. Um, all he's got is his uh, sidearm. This is almost like uh, Dick Winters. Um, yeah, and he's wearing his jump, uh, jump gloves. Yeah, so he'll be, he'll be the officer. Uh, not bad. And then I've done this crazy guy with the, uh, machete. I put a rifle on the back. I may have to revisit him because I need to redo the webbing. But, um, yeah, he looks pretty cool with his Mohican. Uh, and then I've done this guy here. He's uh, He's got his rifle. He's reaching into his um, bandoliers to get more ammunition. Quite like the pose. He's got his um, bandage on his helmet as they wore him. Yeah, quite pleased with that. And then I've got an NCO here. Um, he's got an SMG. What I'm thinking about doing with this guy is kind of painting a white stripe horizontally on the back of his helmet, which is how they... Uh, they were marked, but because he's got webbing on his helmet, and I, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I'm not sure. Well, he's the NCO. I am waiting for. Uh, I've ordered some decals from Warlord because the um, that kit it didn't came it didn't come with the decals for these guys, and these guys will be the hundred and first. Um, so I want to get the decals on there. And I believe, and let me know if I'm wrong, that they had the flag on the um, right arm, 
or left looking at the video and on the left arm they would have the eagle insignia and their rank badges <coughs> uh, so that's what's going to happen when i get them when i get the decals so i'll finish them off with them so yeah i've got an awful lot to do on this one uh, i'm not going to rush it um, so i want to you know i've got all the german there's a half track in there uh there's a like a I think there's a mortar team, a couple of MMG teams. Um, yeah, so I'm going to spend some time doing that. There's there's a lot to do with that. So the next thing I'm going to do will be, I'm going to do all the scenery that came with it. Uh, the kind of ruined farmhouse. So then I'm going to put the ruined farmhouse onto that field uh, and integrate that as far as the layout's concerned. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so that'll be the next thing and then I'm going to just, just take a spur at a time I mean these guys are taking me a while to do I've, I've spent a long time on those so uh, yeah so I'll just uh, go through it nice and gently and then with the uh, my daughters and my son-in-law bought me uh, the US Army bolt, bolt action starter army to go with uh, the starter set. So I've got all the dice and all the rule book and everything in there, pin markers, etc. This is purely infantry and armour for the US Army. I know this is is airborne, but um, yeah. So I'll uh, I'll have to get on the Google and study the colourings and their markings uh, and do that later on. And getting back to the the layout for a second. I want to. Um, I, I talked about having a either a bombed out village street, a French village street, or an airfield. So, um, oh, that's one kit. That's my mate gave me that one. I've got to get on with that sometime as well. It's very nice. And what I thought of doing was having like um, a German airfield on, on French occupied territory and then having a BF 109. Uh, parked outside of a hangar um, on the, on an airfield. So I'm going to build an airfield to go with a layout down the right instead of having this street. Because I've seen a lot of um, a lot of people done streets, and to be honest, they, they're absolutely amazing. Um, one of the guys on Facebook, his name's Sam Brockensteel, I think his name is. Absolute masterclass of what he's done on there. Really impressive. So. What I'm going to try and do is compete with that. I'm just going to do something I haven't seen, and that would be the airfield with the hangar, the control tower. I've ordered that from Sarissa Precisions. Um, and then I'll build that up myself, and then uh, I'll see what everyone thinks of it. So, yeah, I've got an awful lot to do. Um, I'm going to just get on with it, and I shall post the video next time of, of how it's all got on. But if you've got this far, thanks for, for watching. Um, if you like it, put, give me a thumbs up. That helps the old uh, algorithms on YouTube. And then uh, if you do like what I'm doing and you like seeing a noob having a go at this, uh, this has now been nearly a year of me having a go at this hobby. Um, you may feel like subscribing. And if you help, hit the notification, the bell icon, you get notified of when I put any extra contact up. But for now, <clears throat> thanks for watching. Um, have a great new year and I'll see you on the next one.